Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Snowing and blowing, bushels of fun. Now the jingle bell hop's begun. Hello and thanks for joining us. I am Maria Soreo, joined by Liz Brown Swanson. We are here at the Promenade on the Peninsula for our holiday show. It's great to be here with you, Maria. The holiday countdown is here. It's on. Good place to be to count down the days and do some shopping right here yes, at the Promenade. Let's shop and show all of our viewers what's hot for the upcoming season. All right, Liz, we're starting our journey today right here at Coldwater Creek. So many cute things for the holidays, lots of festive stuff. That's really for sure. festive in this store. I love that this is our first stop, and I see lots of gifts here that I might want under my tree. Lots of bling. Let's go check it out. All right. Well, this year it's really all about the faux fur and all the sparkling glitter that we have in the stores, not just in the jewelry. Um, and jackets, but we're glittering everything up from camisoles to t-shirts to sweaters, um, faux fur vests to fur trim sweaters, just all kinds of really, really fun sparkly stuff. You know, it's interesting. We see some of that, but this year there seems to be a lot more. Yeah, and people aren't just wearing it for the formal occasions. They're definitely wearing it with a lot of leggings. Um, they're putting it on with their blue jeans. They're putting a pair of boots on with a completely sequin top. And then they're even throwing, you know, the faux fur jacket on top of the sequin. So you can get away with it all this holiday season. That's always fun because there's so many events to go to and parties. You want to throw something new on. You don't want to wear the same thing all the time. Right. Yeah, and I mean, it's nice, too, because you could actually put the sequin top under just a basic jacket for the office party, and then when you're going out to dinner for the evening party, take the jacket off and you're all ready to go. Very good. And let's talk about the work that you're all doing with St. Jude's this year. Yes, we've partnered with St. Jude, um, which we at Coldwater Creek believe is just a phenomenal um, charity working with the children. Um, and we are accepting donations in all of our stores this year. Um, whether you purchase or not, you can just stop by and donate the money just to really, really help the children. Because at St. Jude's, they don't charge any family for anything. So it's a great cause. Um, and we're really, really excited to be partnered with them this year. That's really amazing because I think, you know, we always think of gift giving, but that's really the ultimate gift is to give back to charity. Yeah, you know, it really, really is. And um, it's there's a lot of people asking for donations at this time of the year, but if we're not going to give it now, when are we? You know, it is. It's a time of thanking and thanksgiving and just celebrating and the joy for all of us. So, Is this the first time that Coldwater Creek has partnered with St. Jude? Yeah, this is our first year. So, yeah. Yeah, very, very exciting. So we're happy to be doing it. Very nice. Okay, and so you have some models for us. We're going to actually look around at some things in here. So let's go do it. All right. Well, Sandra's going to come out first. So here comes Sandra. And she actually has on one of my favorite, favorite tops that we have. It is the, um, she will surprise everyone at the holiday party as she steps out in the Baroque shimmer blouse drizzled with multicolored metallic sequins and as the night gets cooler she can wrap herself in the iridescent fringe scarf she looks lovely and sparkles with the holiday spirit and just like you were saying it's it's a, you know plain black pants with just that sparkly shirt that's perfect for the holiday it is and i mean really you could do a more casual look and you know put a pair of blue jeans on with that you know and maybe a little bit higher heel um and it'd make for a great evening out with your girlfriends yeah of course the scarves any scarf is always such a great touch it is it's a great touch to dress up the outfit and you know as it gets cooler you can always turn your scarf into a shawl and wear it over your shoulders to keep you warm so and we love all of the accessories that you always have I know you we were talking about sparkly t-shirts and the glasses and just fun stuff while you're shopping absolutely and I mean just great gift giving ideas we've got the matching hats and scarves um, we've actually got some little holiday pins this year are really cute um, all the sparkles on the t-shirts um, they're everywhere and um, we have have a new um, glassware box program which is a great gift or nice to use on your table for holiday dining very festive of course <laughs> of course it is yes so now who do we have next and we next we have Katie coming out <clears throat> and Katie's got an amazing outfit for the cool nights that we've been having um, 
Katie's headed for the slopes in the Fair Isle funnel neck sweater, which is lightly decorated with a beaded detail. And she layers this with a fabulous faux vest. And this is my favorite piece in the whole store. Um, and then paired with these luxury tops are the Ponte Easy legging um, that will help keep her warm on her trip home. And again, this year it really is all about that legging um, that you can tuck inside of your boots. Um, you know, and it just, it's its a great casual look. And, and I think this is so versatile because, like you said, the black legging, you can mix and match with so many things. And you and I were just talking, sweaters this year are just getting cuter and cuter. I know. They're, they're, they're just beautiful this year. I mean, it's, you know, adding the sparkle to this sweater is kind of a twist on, you know, a real classic look in a sweater. I mean, it, it really looks like, a you know, it could be an older vintage style sweater and they've kind of added some sparkle to make it real pretty for this year. And, and what would also be cute with jeans and that vest, I'm going to tell you, that's a year-round stunner. It, it's gorgeous. I mean, it is. And especially, you know, for those of us here in Southern California, you always need a vest to take the dog for a walk on the beach at night. So, <laughs> so why not look adorable while you're doing it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Yep. <laughs> Absolutely. Maria, you're always going to find me by the scarves in any store because as far as I'm concerned, you can never have enough scarves, whether it's a holiday or not. A simple accessory that goes along long way and they have a beautiful selection here they have patterns with stripes but I'm gonna go for a solid one and I love this colors look at this purple has a little shimmer and you know what in about five seconds you just wrap 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 and you completely change your whole outfit and these are great to give as gifts for men for women and uh, one other favorite is scarf tying trick that keeps it simple and will change your whole outfit you just fold your scarf in half and you make a loop and you just bring the bottoms through and voila Another new look that you can have to your outfit, and I just, I think I'm gonna have to get this one, Maria. All right, Liz, of course we're over here by the jewelry. Of course we are. We, he, it was calling us. The it was calling us. <laughs> now, we love this because this dresses up even the simplest of outfits and just so much fun. I know you love this bracelet. I check this out. I keep going. This, this She's going back to calling it. my name as well. I'll check this Gorgeous. out. Gorgeous. It's just kind of funky. It's got that it's got solid the glitz. black, but you get the glitz. And look it. how cute it looks just with the, what you have on today. It just adds that pop of glitz and so cute. So Maria's going to put this on my Santa's list. I think she's going to. Yes, absolutely. And look at all of the color as well. I mean, we've got the, the reds and the golds together and just beautiful, beautiful glitz. I mean, look at this. this is just Long necklaces are in. Oh, Honestly, I never feel really beautiful. comfortable in a long necklace, but you wear them. I tend to I wear do. bracelets and earrings and call it a day with a necklace, but really I don't pretty. know. It might be kind of fun to get a pop of color. Like, this. look at this. this red. And then look, this is going to look adorable again with just what she's got on. I mean, just yeah. adds that little bit of fun and makes it holiday. Yes. Makes it holiday. My red holiday ball. Very, right very cute. Very cute. To rock your night away. Well, Liz and I have arrived right here at Small Wonders. This is the greatest toy store I think I've ever seen. The coolest stuff anywhere. I know. I know it's called Small Wonders, but I always say big joy, big oh, smiles. My so kids fun. still, when they come back from college and we walk around the promenade, they say, can we go into Small Wonders and check it out? Because they actually have things you really need for all ages. Absolutely. And uh, what do you got going on Stuff there? Stuff you won't find anywhere else. Now, check this out. Look, at there's a whole kitchen over here. <laughs> Cupcakes. We've got pizza right here. I mean, you could have your whole, look at Moo Mixer, chocolate milk mixer. I lo Look at this. This is amazing. And because Maria is known as the cupcake princess. I do love She brings the, yes. cupcakes into work. But you know what? Love it. These are better cupcakes, Maria, because they don't have any calories. The, they, you know what? You've got to be right about that. But I did find something else that I would yeah, like finding to bring stuff. into the studio. Look at this. Let's see. I think <gasps> we needed RPV TV, a, pink, a hot pink mic. styling microphone. I love Just what this. everybody wants to be a rock star. It's always so much fun to be here at Small Wonders with the owner. Congratulations, we have the holiday season now kicking off. How is it going? Oh, we're so excited. This is gonna be a great year. People are just, you know, just now starting to shop and we have a catalog that went out last week and it has more product in it than we've ever had before. And people are just coming in with it all curled up in their hand with a little list. So we're helping them find all the things that they want for the holidays.
I know you've been running this store for a long time. Small Wonders has certainly grown over the year. How have you seen sort of the trends change and, and what's really exciting right now? Um, trends change from year to year, but we try and keep everything nostalgic and kind of basic. We ha occasionally we'll have a couple of things that you'll see, you know, on television, but basically we don't we don't feature those in our we, we like to see toys that can be passed down from year to year and um and just happy this year that we have brio again and a lot of our customers have their great grandchildren now and they're going up in the attic and pulling their brio out from years ago and we're going to help them continue that sort of tradition in their family. For little girls, it's the Raggedy Ann and Andy doll. That is a must. And for boys, it's got to have four wheels on it because they've got to get things moving. And they're very active all the time. All right, so much fun in here today, Becky. It's so fun to play in here for all, all age groups. Now, you're going to show some cool stuff. What is this boogie board right here? The boogie board is relatively new. What it is, I almost call it, oh, I'm sorry, a cross between um, the old fashioned um, magic slates okay, yeah. and um, an iPad or something. You use the stylus, you write whatever you want on it. Very, very etch a sketch like for the, the uh, yeah. and then to erase it, you just press this simple little button and there's 50,000 erases in it. Okay, now what was Liz riding around on just a few minutes ago? Oh, she was riding the easy roller. Okay. Um, you sit low to the ground, okay. you put your feet on the little bar, and with your feet going back and forth like this, that controls the speed. And then, of course, if you one foot forward, like this would turn one way, this way the other way. It comes with extension bars so that as their little legs grow, they don't outgrow the toy. Okay, Becky, so if you've got an artist in the family, let's talk about what you've got right here. Okay, this is a brand new item called Master Kits. So it gives you all of the tools in it and all of the information and the history about a famous artist and maybe one or two of their um, paintings. And then you recreate it, but in your own way as the child, as the, as the child in you or the child. It actually says from 5 to 105. So this one, <laughs> so we've got the sunflowers, my favorite, Van Gogh. Okay. And then what would this one and be? we've got one, the wave. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, Becky, what have we got here? These are European toys. What does that mean? These are brand new for us that are all imported from um, Europe, usually Italy or France. Okay. And they're the real high quality, hand painted. In this case, you get, I believe, 50 blocks. This one's got 40 blocks with the um, alphabet on them. Oops, almost got you. <laughs> That's what a toy store is all about. <laughs> That one yeah, of course. <laughs> now, we always talk about you know, um, the safety for kids. Mm -hmm. They're not toxic. Talk about that. Every single one of our toys, we either have paperwork that you can look at that okay. shows you that it's passed all of the um, uh, American testing. standards for testing. Okay. If we don't have the paperwork, we also we have the website that you can look at. What if I'm buying for a one-year-old boy? What am I looking for, Becky? This is my favorite. This line right here, the WOW toys. Okay. There's no batteries. Anything from WOW does not take batteries. It's all kid-powered. They have little people that go in, but they're not so little that they're a choking hazard. So okay. the little kids that age, they love putting little pieces in and out, in and out, but usually it's a problem because small pieces are a choking hazard. Yeah. This company has gone to great lengths to make sure that it's totally safe for a one-year-old and they're all hands, um, you know, the child coordinated. Right. There's no batteries. The pieces lift up. They put the people in and out. You turn it. There's all kinds of activities and they have wheels. Oh, and my. wheels are like a big thing. There's an airplane, there's a garbage truck, there's a helicopter. This is my go-to gift for a one-year-old. And funny because I think actually our cameraman might actually have fun with some of these toys too. Himself? He's a little older than one, but he, I think he would enjoy them. Yeah, I was wondering if it was going to be for him or for his one-year-old. All right, Becky, Star Wars, always very popular. I know we have these uh, cool little light-up key rings. And what have you got right there? This is to carry all of your Star Wars things in. You can put your Star Wars, it's a backpack, okay. and it unzips here. You keep all of your little Star Wars, your Legos, your little keychains, any any of your little Star Wars pieces, keep them in here in your backpack. 
great. And these yeah. never really go out of style, do they? Oh my god. Star Wars has been hot for forever. Yeah. Okay, well I'm old enough to remember when the original <laughs> Star Wars movie came out. Well, me too, but that's okay. Okay, well I'm now with Sean. Sean's definitely on Santa's nice list. Are you getting excited for the holidays and for Christmas? Mm-hmm. And what are you gonna ask Santa for? Uh, all the gifts I wanted. All the gifts you wanted. Lots of nice gifts in here. Do, you, do you, What do you like to play with? I like all the gifts. All the and if you ever wanted to add a little space into your bedroom, check this out. You can get your very own moon, stars, and planets. Snowing and blowing, bushels of fun. Now the jingle bell hop's begun. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell rock. Jingle bell chimes and jingle bell time. All right, Liz, we could literally be in the store all day here at Small Wonders playing with the toys. I know. I would keep saying Small Wonders, but lots of big fun in this store. Huge so where, fun. where are we going next? All right, next we're going to leap on over to the Book Frog. All right, let's go. Gliding in a one horse sleigh. I am here at the Book Frog, and I am joined by Rebecca. Now, you are going to tell us about all the books that are hot right now for the holidays. That's right. Let's see, let's That's right. Okay, so starting with fiction, okay. um, This Is How You Lose Her by Juno Diaz, who won a MacArthur uh, Foundation Genius Grant this year, okay. uh, won a Pulitzer for his last book. It's a novel in stories, gorgeous. Long-awaited uh, book from Tom Wolfe, who uh, hit huge with Bonfire of the Vanities in the 80s. and yeah, he's a popular author. Back to true form. Right. He missed with his last book, but he's back with this one. Right. Of course, yeah. J.K. Rowling, yeah. The Casual Vacancy. It is definitely a grown-up book. Okay. It has some naughty words in it. <laughs> it's about small-town politics in England. In England. Okay. Um, Probably the biggest book of the holiday season, Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Third Wheel, just came out on Tuesday, the 13th, and it is going to be huge. Greg finds a girlfriend. Oh, <laughs> Lemony Snicket, also for the uh, 8 to 12 year old reader. This is the story of the young Lemony Snicket and how he became who he is, and uh, you might not want to read this. Uh oh. <laughs> so, the. The kids will know what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, moving on to young adult uh, fiction, which is for the uh, 12 and ups. Um, Origin is a great sci-fi novel about a genetically engineered girl who lives forever. Mm -hmm. And every day, one of the best books in any genre that I have read this year, uh, which is about a young person who wakes up every day of his or her life in a different body and how that is to be never to have any attachments and uh, never to be able to make any real friends. What, what a great story that is. Now when did that book come out? Gorgeous. Uh, a couple of months ago, not too long ago, still quite new. Um, and then in a, in a row here we have um, a representative sample of a big trend this season which are the uh, biographies and autobiographies of rockers of a certain age. Yeah. In addition to John Lennon's letters, uh, Neil Young and Pete Townsend's memoirs, Rod Stewart has a memoir. There are biographies of Bruce Springsteen and um, Mick Jagger and Leonard Cohen. Oh, I was just going to say, I'm sure some Rolling Stones are in here somewhere. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Mick wouldn't write his own book, but there's a nice tell-all about him. Right. So, right. oh, there you go. Um, another little mini trend right next to it. There are two books about the... Um, uh, mission to Kill Osama Bin Laden. One, No Easy Day, is a uh, memoir by one of the SEALs who was in that raid. And the other, The Finish, is by Mark Bowden, who uh, is a journalist who wrote the book Black Hawk Down. So two very different uh, views of the same story. Uh, next to that is Behind the Beautiful Forevers, which just last night won the National Book Award for Nonfiction. A very um, grim but beautiful story of life in the slums of Mumbai. So uh, quite, quite gripping. And then how could I not end with Bill O'Reilly's uh, latest popular history? 
killing Kennedy, following up on last year's Killing Lincoln. I think there has to always be a Kennedy and a Bill O'Reilly book in the bookstore, is that right? That's right, always, always, always. You know, you know what? We know the book frog is small, but one of the best little nooks anywhere. How do you select which books get to be in here? <laughs> well, I read all of the trades. I read the New York Times Book Review every day, and I read Publishers Weekly, and I read Shelf Awareness, and um, as many book reviews as I can, and I get all the newsletters. Oh, okay. <laughs> yes, and I still miss some, but um, but I try to get as many good ones in as I can. Okay, Rebecca, I know you and Maria were just talking about the fact that here in the store you have a wonderful children's selection and great selection for holiday reads for kids as well. Lots of Christmas stories, Hanukkah stories. Talk about, we're here now with some of your holiday books. Oh yeah, we've got so many good ones. Here's some of my favorites. I love the llama. Llama Llama Holiday Drama is his Christmas story. He can't wait for Christmas, but he has to. I also have the Llama Llama plush with a little hat on him. Does he look like he loves drama? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's wonderful. Another current favorite, Pete the Cat, and this is his new adventure, and he saves Christmas in it. And we're going to have a Pete the Cat plush with a little Santa hat, too. He's cool. Now you're talking about some really fun, fun new stories, but I always love the classics, like the 12 Days of Christmas. 12 Days of Christmas, gorgeous, lush illustrations. Goes to each page. Is it, each day of Christmas is a double page spread. Just beautiful. Part of course, we're not going to sing the 12 Days of Christmas now, are we? Oh, no, 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 no. You don't want that. <laughs> Um, Ree Drummond, who people might know as the Pioneer Woman, has her first ever picture book, Charlie and the Christmas Kitty, which is very cute, very sweet. I see an animal theme going here at the holidays, and um, lots of fun. And of course, you also have a wonderful selection for Hanukkah. We do. We do. I pulled this, I just pulled a couple, but we've got tons of them. This is a great one, Dad's Christmas, Hanukkah Mama, Dad. Daddy Christmas, Hanukkah Mama. Sorry. So it's for the families to celebrate both traditions. That's right. We know a lot of those blended families. Yeah. Um, and then this one, which is magnificent by the great um, Robert Sabuda, the great paper artist, is a pop-up, which is just exquisite. I don't know if you want me to do yeah, that, that is such a beautiful pop-up book. Um, one thing that keeps popping out at me because I love to cook around the holidays is wonderful little holiday cooking books, cookbooks that you have for the kids. Yeah, yeah, just a couple uh, examples here. We've got a food and fun for Hanukkah, Maccabee meals, and a beautiful uh, cookie craft Christmas book. And uh, there are more in our cooking section. This is our featured title of the day today, uh, brand new Oliver Jeffers, um, who does wonderful, he calls it a mishmash uh, artistic technique. He does oils on old landscapes and a little bit of computer generated stuff. And this is a great story about Wilfred, who has a moose sent to him one day, and he names the moose Marcel. That's what this is about. We're all waiting for our, our moose to come through the front door. And I think as we close up here, because there's just, you know, so many great, great book ideas to give to kids. I'm standing behind. This looks like it's going to be the big hit of the season. I'll let you do the uh, the honors of this Star Wars amazing pop-up. Oh, yes. There are there are two premier paper artists in the world of pop-up. Robert Sabuda, who did the Christmas, the Hanukkah book, and Matthew Reinhardt, who's done a Star Wars book. And it is absolutely astonishing each page has a big pop-up and then little mini pop-ups but there's a grand finale pop-up i think there that's going to light up our world there is a grand finale pop-up pick up your feet the jingle around the club mix and a mingle and a jingle and deep that's the Jingle Bell Rock.
Well, Liz and I are now here at one of the coolest new stores in the mall. It's called the Urban Underground. And of course, we couldn't do this segment without the cool red glasses on, Liz. Of course not, because we're taking our shopping underground. And you cannot believe what's in this newest store, one of the newest stores here at the Promenade. They have something for everyone, but mostly geared towards the skateboarders out there. Yes. So anything you ever wanted to buy, get all of the above, we're going underground in the skateboard. Let's check it out. Check it out. All right, well, I'm now standing here with Dodger here at Urban Underground. He is the skate counter manager, the go-to guy here in the store. Talk about the fun we have here with an unbelievable array of skateboard here. All right, yeah, so um, pretty much we're just here to let kids hang out, you know, somewhere to skate. Actually, like, when it's raining, you guys can come in here and skate. We put the boards together for you. Just a good place to just come and relax and have a good time. Good place to keep your wheels spinning. You know, yeah. just looking around, I'm across from the skate counter right now. When kids come in here and they want to put a board together, it's, you know, you can customize it. Talk about that process from picking out the board to going over to the counter, getting the wheels, getting the trucks. Uh -huh. How does it all work? Oh, so that's totally up to you. I mean, you can pick whatever board you want, whatever trucks you want to match your board, or you can just combine color, whatever colors that you want. We can put it together any way that you want it. I explain which bearings we have that are best, which bearings are you know, not as good for beginners and the wheels I'll explain from hard to soft and if top to bottom I explain the way the way it needs to be put together right. and I'll do it for you guys as well. As a mother of three boys every Christmas they all wanted a new skateboard from Santa under the tree. Tips for moms watching and dads that have young kids interested in getting into skateboarding like you don't need to spend a lot of money on a board but there is definitely a difference it pays to know you know to get the right bearings to get the right wheels. Yes it does. Um, to be honest with you, if you're just getting started, I would recommend a, not a, not the top of the line bearing because the kids are going to fall a lot easier. And if they are just uh, just starting to skate, I would recommend helmets because it's really dangerous and I've I've been hurt many a times. So, yeah. So um, if, you, if there's any questions or anything, you guys can stop on in and ask me anything, and I'll let you guys know. And okay, well behind us, of course, we've got the wall, the skateboard wall behind us. But as I look around this this store, you guys have a lot of fun merchandise, really geared towards you know boys and guys. But you're starting to get some merchandise in for girls. Yes. Just give a description of like what's here. You guys certainly have sort of the hippest, uh, you know, clothing lines I see for kids. Uh, yeah, I'm actually I'm wearing these new hoodie buddies that we just got in. They actually have headphones that come with them, so you can, they're the drawstrings, and you can wash them with the headphones on. Only thing you got to do is remove the device that you're using. And also we have every kind of skate thing that you can think of. We actually even sh sell these shoelace belts, a new hip thing. You know, we, we uh, sell everything you can think of here. Anything to do with skating and hip stuff, we have here. Right. Again, you call this one more time because it's got the built-in uh, earphones. You can wash it right here in the sweatshirt. You know, I think I have to get one of these. But uh, what, what was it called? A skateboard hoodie? or H Hoodie buddy. They're actually called hoodie buddies, yeah, because they're your best friend. You don't have to take them off and you can still listen to your music. And skating, actually, listening to music actually gives you a rhythm. So it's cool that you don't have to actually carry headphones on you all the time. They're actually on your sweater, so. All right, Dodger, you have lots more great gift ideas for the holidays. Lots of fun stuff in the store. Uh, just give us a little bit of a rundown of the assortment we have here. Very unusual gifts. Yeah, so uh, right here we have, they're called Fumi boxes. Like, they're, they're little creatures or whatever you want to call them, and you can actually draw on them. You can become an artist, paint your own picture on them, do whatever you want, turn them into whatever you want. I would recommend doing a rough sketch with a pencil on it first so you can erase it and then color it in, whatever, whatever you want to do. We also have these pop phones, which are pretty hot right now. They're selling, selling pretty good. They actually plug right into your phone. Giving us a little demonstration. I, I saw these earlier. How cool is this to be able to have a actual uh, hand receiver to plug in your iPhone or computer? Yeah, computer, iPhone, any phone that actually has a plug in and you can actually talk them I and they actually sound more clear than your cell phone already does. So and, they're pretty great. And there's all kinds of every design pattern you can want. Solid colors, zebra print. I'm happy to be a fan of the zebra one. <laughs> um, but I've never seen these before and these are made by Nation Native Union. They're very, very cool. Pop phones. We also we also have these beanies here that, actually, I'll actually put one on right now so you guys can see what they look like. They actually go over he head. really is an angel. Don't be fooled by his hat. So they're, they're, they're to keep your face warm mainly, but they're, they're pretty cool. They're, they're, they're different. They're new. And um, if you don't want the, the beard on, you can actually unbutton it and take the beard off. Totally up to you. And uh, the, the beards come in different colors. Right? This happens to be a black one. I noticed a blonde beard over there. And uh, how fun is that? I know the kids have a lot of fun. And uh, whether on skateboards or snowboards, a great for gift uh, to hit the mountains with. And since we're talking about hats, you've got every color hat 
on display here, every size, shape, every everybody on a skateboard needs a hat. Yes, yeah, so this <laughs> this is our um, truck foot Little Wayne line. They're really nice. They have a new, it's not a snapback, it's actually a uh, material back, which is a little more comfortable. We have all kinds of different ones, a different color bill on the bottom. They're pretty awesome, really comfortable hats. We have these cupcake beanies here, which are for the women, but a lot of men have actually been wearing them, and they actually look pretty good. I'm not going to lie. And Maria, who's out and about with us, she's known at the studio as the Cupcake Princess, and I think this hat absolutely is going to be under Maria's tree when uh, she opens it up on Christmas morning. Also, I happen to have my eye on these socks, no pun intended. I love these socks. Yeah, they're, they're very comfortable socks. Toy Machine actually makes them. They're good for skating in, a lot of cushioning. It, usually skate shoes have a lot of cushion already, but when you wear these socks, they really make a difference. Well, Liz, we have now shopped till we drop. I'm appreciating this little rest. But I think we're hungry now. I'm definitely hungry. So Where let's, do you want to go? Let's find out what the reindeer says. I think he just whispered marmalade. Well, Liz and I have had a long day of shopping, but now we are taking a break at the Marmalade Cafe. Always a great place to come for lunches, dinners, and especially holiday shopping. I love all the food here, especially that artichoke spinach dip. <laughs> Everything is so good. <laughs> it is great. Right, now, now, Victor, talk about when it's best for people to come in during the holidays. Do you need to make a reservation, or how do you, how do you work? Oh, well, anytime we're uh, basically uh, available uh, at all hours, you can either make a reservation. Uh, that will ensure that uh, you get a table, uh, without any uh, any wait time, but you know we've uh, do our very best to make sure that nobody waits more than they should, okay. and uh, obviously our, our doors are always uh, open and we're uh, we're ready and uh, trying to welcome everybody home, which is you know That's what right. we're all about. That's right. Now we also love coming in here for a bite. Now you have an appetizer in front of us, a very yummy appetizer. Tell us what that is. It is great. It's uh, you know it's an ahi um, ahi tuna, okay. tartar style. And it is, you know, uh, the components are a little bit of avocado, some sesame uh, ginger, uh, wonton chips, and a little bit of Thai uh, hot sauce. And now, is this an appetizer on your menu normally, is, or is it just for the holidays? No, actually, it's very this festive. Is, this is actually on our menu on a regular basis, one of our, uh, you know, the most uh, favorite, uh, you know, okay. by well, your patrons. Anything with ahi. It makes oh, it's me great. smile. It's nice and lean and fresh. <laughs> yeah. What will you do differently for the holidays? Anything in terms of menu choices? Yes, we just introduced a few of uh, a few new items to, for our fall, winter fall, uh, you know, seasonal menu. Uh, we have a lamb burger, which is, you know, uh, to die for. It's absolutely great. We have a, uh, a snapper that is, uh, you know, Parmesan coated over uh, marmalade uh, mashed potatoes. Mm, that and it is great. great. It's very, uh, you know, uh, homey and uh, really great, uh, great flavors there as well. Like comfort food almost. I just about, yeah, with a little bit of, uh, you know, uh, uh, sophisticated twist. Very good. And, of course, there's no calories over the holidays. Yeah. Uh, we try to uh, keep it within, uh, you know, certain normalcy, but, you know, uh, it is so hard. Now, now, for some people that want to come in for a dessert, what do you suggest? Oh, we have uh, great tiramisu. We make our own oh, tiramisu. It's excellent. In fact, I was just uh, back in the kitchen, you know, supervising uh, <laughs> that the tiramisu was, uh, you know, prepared uh, properly. And, right. you know, obviously I have to and taste everything. And, of course, everything. supervising means taste testing. That's right. Oh, definitely. That's my favorite part of uh, <laughs> my job, you know, having to go and taste, the, you know, the uh, flavor profiles are within uh, specs. So, uh, yes, Great. love that. Well, we know there's going to be a lot of shoppers here in the promenade during the holidays. So we wanted to come in and remind everyone to come to the Marmalade Cafe. It's a great place to come for an appetizer, a lunch, a dinner, whatever right. you want. And it has such a wonderful family feel. It does. It Absolutely. is. That's one of the things that we emphasize, you know, to make sure that uh, the hospitality that we've, uh, you know, we're providing our uh, friends, not, you know, customers, but we consider everyone a friend. Okay. You know, we're celebrating our 12th anniversary here in, uh, in Palos Verdes. So, uh, and it's all about making, uh, you know, uh, relationships and making friends. And, uh, you know, it is a home-like hospitality. That's what we're all about. I also love the fact that you can sit outside and know you have the heat lamps and the fireplaces out there, and that's always so much fun, you right. know. Getting cozy over the holidays, and it feels very festive in here right now. I it is great. We're just actually in the process of uh, making sure that we've uh, make it more uh, holiday-like uh, with, okay. uh, you know, as you can see around you. You're here on a day when we're just getting ready for uh, <laughs> for the season. So, uh, yes, we're uh, definitely looking forward for the holidays. We've, uh, you know, uh, hard a way to, uh, to make sure that, you know, uh, our customers come in and try our uh, great dishes. Great. All right. Well, Victor, thanks for joining us. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And remember, when you want something delicious, come on over to Marmalade Cafe. All right. Anytime.
Well, Liz, I am definitely in the holiday spirit after all that shopping. It was great coming out with you. I'm definitely ready. The countdown is here. Remember, everybody, shop local. That's right, and have a very safe and happy holiday season. Happy, happy holidays! holidays.